in the month of August, God gave us a word. And the word was that in thy presence is fullness of joy. And at their right hand is what? Pleasures forevermore. You know, when you hear, when God gives you that kind of word, it's like you're settled. And then we've been praying from the first day, of, first day in August. Lord, let our joy be full. And then, towards the end of the first week in August, when the Bible says, suddenly there arose a storm. Storms come suddenly. On the 8th of August, I think I called Reverend. I said I had to go to Akure to check my mom. She was ill. And I'm sure a lot of you know her. Very strong woman. Very prayerful woman. So I went to Akure. She was my sister in Akure. So I drove down early on Sunday. And when I saw her on Sunday, I was not happy. You know, my mom is such a joyous woman. She calls us every Sunday. And whenever she sees us, she's very excited. And when she saw me this Sunday, there was no excitement. There was no energy to bring out any excitement. It was like life was going out of this woman. Ah! I said, this woman must not go. So, I left Accra on Sunday. On Monday, And I told my sister, I said, please, we need to take her to a good hospital in Akure. Please, don't mind the cost. And then they took her to one hospital in Akure, a very good place. And the next thing I had was that they had to put her on um, oxygen. That the breathing was hard. Very difficult to breathe. Ah, at that time, I was shattered. I said, ah, is this how I will lose this woman? And I remember Numbers 31, 49. I've said it here several times. When Reverend and I were taking the... I said, at the end of this whole whatever, we'll count everybody. Nobody will be missing. And I said, ah, you said our joy will be full in the month of August. God, what is happening? I was disturbed. So Monday evening, my sister-in-law now called. She's a professor in Luth. I said, she thinks we should bring mommy to Ibadan, whatever it takes. I said, okay, bring her down. So we brought her down Tuesday in an ambulance with the oxygen. For people of God, what they were querying was COVID. COVID. So when they brought her to Ibadan Tuesday, they came to, in front of um, the casualty, they came to do the test for her. And lo and behold, an 80-year-old woman with diabetes and hypertension was COVID positive. was COVID positive. Ah, is this the end? One thing I kept on saying all through is that the difference between the people that die and the people that live is the mercy of God. Mercy of God. Well, you know how UCH is? UCH is a little bit, I mean, unless you know somebody. So my sister was now getting a little bit upset about UCH. That we should have left her in Akure. She was getting better and this and that. Uh, in fact, the owner of the hospital that we took her to in Akure also has COVID. And they are treating her there. And she's getting better. I said, no, don't worry. Uh, 
we have the expert care here. She'll be fine. Lo and behold, Mama was taken to the isolation center. Day one, day two, day three, day four. The doctor that was in charge of that infectious center came around to say, he says, Mama's recovery is a miracle. You know when doctors come to tell you that an 80 year old woman her recovery is a miracle for you one more year. 80 diabetes hypertension she had to come and tell me said Oga please I want to take your approval we want to use mama for research I said, do any research you want to do. Because older people, they didn't understand how this woman recovered from COVID positive. Now, let me beat your imagination. The woman, the wife of the owner of the hospital, she was not yet 50. She died. She died. May her soul rest in peace. She died. But why would God save an 80-year-old woman? 80. She was 80 January 29 this year. We went to celebrate her birthday in Lori. She was 80. Why would God save an 80-year-old woman? 